with the likes of Novak and Rafa. La 15. Well, watching Puy here, it, it becomes obvious, I think, that he feels he can't win playing normal tennis here. He's immediately trying drop shots. He's trying to hurt Djokovic with the first rip, first ground stroke if he can. He wants to cheat to the backhand corner to keep it in his forehand, and Novak's just not giving him any luxury to do so. Virtual. Well, before that miss hit, I was about to ask you, is it the best backhand you've ever seen? Forget that last point. Yeah, no, I think it. I mean, it's, close, it's, isn't it? it's very close. I mean, a lot of players feel like Nishikori's double-hander. That's a clean hit, Nishikori's, but this backhand you just can't break down. I mean, he rarely misses it. He can thread the needle so he can defend and attack and hardly ever misses it. His dad actually did a interview for Newsweek back in 2016. Novak saying he's got video footage of him at uh, four um, and his back end looks pretty much the same then as it did as it does today. Just purely natural, I yep. guess. Yes. Just looking at uh, Moresmo's time with Andy, actually, during their time together, he played Novak 12 times. He managed the one win in uh, Canada in 2015. Certainly not an easy matchup, this one, to figure and out. And coherent plan that's going to work consistently. He's tried quite a bit here, hasn't he? He's tried body serves, he's tried drop shots. Not sure where else he can uh, explore the Frenchman. Two sets to love. 
again, it's the number of winners to unforced errors. It's been the beautiful thing about the Australian Open over the last few years. It has rewarded good attacking tennis. And I think at times tennis has wanted to try and extend matches to give fans a certain amount of time on the court rather than uh, maybe a shorter time and uh, more attractive all-court tennis. The problem for Puy out here, it's certainly a shorter time, it's too short, but he's not a natural volleyer. He's not got that transitional game uh, to really start coming in and, and try and beat Novak a little bit for the net because, as you rightly say, you just can't beat him from the back. Very few players can. Might have a chance up there if you can get him up there on your terms, but that's pretty difficult to achieve as well. Yeah, it certainly has to be on your terms, doesn't it? You've got to try to hit the ball deep, come in and be versatile at the net with your volleys, and you really have to volley beautifully. Hard to know how you'd coach him at the end of this second set, what, what to do. You, you've just got to try to play better with your style of game, I think. But he's a machine, is Novak. Again, at the start of this third set, it's paramount that Puy starts well. If he doesn't, it's going to be over. 